OK. Matching the Power or SMPS card to unit. By the end of this module, you will get a basic understanding on how to match a Power or SMPS card to unit. In this module, we shall learn the matching of a Power or SMPS card to a unit. Let's now proceed with the module. Now, we shall have a look at the procedure for matching the Power or SMPS card to unit. First, mount the Power or SMPS card for the unit. The card must have the correct power size and voltage specification. Connect the main power. Verify that the frequency converter is able to start up and the frequency converter is trip locked with the alarm code new spare part. By pressing the info button, the display will show the next step of how to match the power or SMPS card to the unit. The info text will be as follows. The power or SMPS card is exchanged. The FCU unit type code has to be restored in the EEPROM. Select the correct type code in parameter 14, 23, according to the unit label. Remember to select Save to EEPROM to complete. Hence, select correct type code in parameter 14, 23, according to the unit label. Now select Save to EEPROM, which is the parameter 1423, index 20, to complete. After the saving to the EEPROM is done, the drive has to be power cycled, so power cycle the drive. After the power cycling has been performed, the LCP will show an alarm 251. Now reset the alarm. Now the drive is ready for running. What to do? If the type code is set up wrongly, if a wrong or erroneous type code has been saved to the EEPROM, the parameter 1423 can be made accessible by entering the code 00006100 in parameter 1429. Now, you have done with the matching of a power or SMPS card to a unit. Let's go in for a quick check of your understanding before we conclude. With this, we have come to the end of this module. By now, you would have gained a good understanding on how to match a power or SMPS card to a unit.